Hello and welcome. In this video, let us learn few CSS codes related to changing the style of text. Okay. Now I'll go to this folder and open this CSS file that I created in last section with notepad. Okay. So I have the codes from last section. I will delete it and save it. Okay. So this is my web page. Now let us start styling. I want to have this at the center and I want to have it in green color. Now this is my heading H1 heading. Okay. This is my H1 heading. So let us do that. First, I will say H1. This is my selector and I will open a flower bracket. And now I will mention color, which is my property and green, which is my value. Okay. I want to change color to green and then I'll say text align and center. Okay. Text align and center. And finally, I will close this. Okay. Finally, I will close this. So let me save it. Let me save it and let me refresh it. Let me refresh it. So I have heading in green color and at the center. All right. So we have used these two in the previous video. So you know this by now. Correct. Now I want to change the font size of this. Okay. I want to increase the font size for that. We need to use font size. All right. Now do not worry about this right now. I will tell you uh, more about this after a few minutes. Font size and here we need to mention the size. Let us say in pixels. Okay. Pixels. So now I will save it and refresh it to get the heading in a big size. Okay. Now 50 is too much. Let me reduce it to sorry. 60 is too much. Let me reduce it to 50 and refresh. Okay. This is fine. All right. Now the default font size of a browser is 16 pixels. Okay. So this is 16 pixels. This heading is of higher pixel or larger pixel. Okay. Heading H1, H2, H3, all those headings will be bigger in size. But the normal text, normal text like this will be of 16 pixels because that is the default size. Now you can think of this as base size and use a pixel size for increasing other heading tags or other text. Okay. So if this is 16, then how much do you want this to be? All right. More than this, but how much more you need to mention that in pixels. Okay. Remember that this must not be separated by a space. Okay. I'll save it. I'll save it and I'll refresh it to get this. Okay. Don't leave a space between the value and PX. PX is pixel. It has to come with the value. So I'll save it and refresh it to get this. Okay. Now the question comes, how do I remember this? Okay. How do I remember this? And how do I remember this? How do I remember this? How do I remember this? All right. Should I by heart all these? All right. So this is the question that you'll be having by now. No, you don't have to by heart all the codes. You just have to keep using the commonly used codes. Okay. There will be some codes. There will be some codes that are more uh, in use. Okay. More in use. You just have to keep using them until it comes naturally to you. Okay. So you don't have to by heart all the codes because there are literally hundreds and hundreds of CSS codes and you cannot by heart everything. Okay. When 
you want something extra something extra then you can go to internet and search for it all right one good or i can say one uh, best resource is w3schools.com in the css section they have various topics and in those in these topics you can find the codes all right text transform upper case now they also mention what does it do so now let us use text transform upper case let us say i want all these in upper case then i need to use a code but i do not know what code is it all right i want to change this into upper case but i do not know what is the code so you can just go to internet and search for it of course you will not know in which section is it you just have to uh, look for it and once you get it you can use it so here it is text transform and upper case this is upper case lower case capitalize we want to make it in capital letter get it in capital letter so let us use this let me copy this okay let me copy this and let me paste it here okay let me paste it here text transform upper case all right so i'll save it go to this refresh and i have this in upper case okay so you don't have to by heart all the codes keep using the commonly used codes until it comes naturally to you if there is any special case like this just go to internet search for it it will hardly take 5 minutes to get the code or search for the codes and you can use the codes in your css file all right i hope it is clear now let us proceed now i am satisfied with the heading okay i am satisfied with the h1 heading let me move on to h2 h2 headings okay so here i'll say h2 h2 i want to change the style of h2 and i'll open bracket i'll say color blue okay color blue now there is a separate video of about color which will come in future all right there are, there is a lot there are a lot of information which we need to learn about color so right now i am saying color is equal to blue that's all okay but there is a lot that we need to learn we'll see that later do not worry about it right now okay so color blue color blue and i want to align it at the center okay center center and let me close it so let me save it let me save it let me refresh it so i get all the h2 tags at the center and in blue color okay and in blue color now let me increase the font size let me increase the font size font size uh, let me make it as 60 pixels okay 60 pixels i'll save it and i'll refresh it so i have ginseng okay now I, there is no rule that uh, the font size of h2 should be lesser than h1 okay it can be more too so h1 50 pixels h2 60 pixels it is perfectly fine all right but now it doesn't look good here so let me reduce it to 40 okay or 30 so let me save it and refresh it to get it in 30 pixels okay 30 pixels now i am satisfied with this satisfied with this let me move to paragraph okay let me move to paragraph i'll say p because i'm changing paragraph correct p open brackets open brackets i'll say color color or let me not change color of paragraph let me align okay align it at center center let me close it let me save it let me refresh it okay all the paragraph elements all the paragraph elements are at the center okay are at the center of course you can see the button is to the left button is to the left and here the list items are to the left list items are to the left okay 
now we have to do that later separately all right because this is not a paragraph and so it is not at the center okay now let us see one more one more uh, property which is line height okay line height line height and i'll say 1.5 1.5 now basically line height is the uh, height between lines okay so this is one line this is one more line correct this is one more line the gap between two lines is line height and i have mentioned it as 1.5 now what 1.5 1.5 times the font size okay so when we say 1.5 it is 1.5 times the font size all right so let me save it let me save it i want you to notice here okay so before refreshing this is the value after refreshing you can see the gap has increased to 1.5 okay 1.5 that is the value that i gave right now okay next next let us uh, do list okay list see for list you need to use li all right li this is an unordered list and this is an ordered list correct this is ordered this is unordered for this we use ol sorry ul correct for this we use ul and for this we use ol but in css when you are styling when you are styling you have to use li because you are styling list elements right you are styling list elements now what do i want to do what do i want to do let me say color okay let me change it to uh, light blue all right let me change it to light blue and let me close it let me close it let me save it and light blue is not a good choice let me change it to gray and save yeah this is fine okay this is fine and let me change the font size font size or uh, font style okay font style let me show you one more property font style okay i want the list items to be in italic so it uh, italic okay italic i close it and i will save it and i'll refresh it to get the list items in italic right italic next let me show you one more uh, let me do it for paragraph okay paragraph i'll say font family all right font family and let me say serif okay let me say serif now we will have to talk about font family too okay there will be a separate video uh, related to font family do not worry too much about this right now okay so i will say or have i saved it no let me save it and let me refresh it so no change is visible here uh, that is because i have chosen serif so let me say sans serif okay sans serif let me save it and let me yeah see the font has been changed okay the font has been changed to a sans serif okay now once again as i told you we have a separate video related to this we'll talk more about this later all right so these are few of the few of the text related css codes okay commonly used text related css codes now this is enough for this video this is this was just to introduce you to css from next video onwards we'll learn more detail about css all right for now i want you to go and practice what we have learned in this video all right before moving on practice all these things type it out 
execute it, see the result, change some parameters, see the result and proceed to the next video. Alright? I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and thank you for watching.